It's 6 o'clock, Monday, October 28th, 2024. I'll call this special meeting to order. The City of Peru Common Council and the Peru City Council Chambers. If you would please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day and for this weather and for the, the proof that things always are in need of change. So as the things change outside and, and as numbers change in this room, Lord, we pray for wisdom, that you would help all of those who have been given authority to exercise it well, that they would be considerate of their fellow man and of each other, we pray for unity, that as they work as a team, they would bring honor and glory to you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> Can we have a roll call, please? Anderson? Here. Fisher? Here. Huber? Here. Murphy? Here. Biodoxny? Here. Stevenson? Here. Ulrey? Here. Thank you. We have two things on our special <coughs> meeting agenda tonight. The first is Ordinance 17-2024, an ordinance establishing the 2025 salaries of all elected officials of the City of Peru, Indiana. Do we have a motion to consider? I make a motion to consider Ordinance 17-2024. Second. Roll call. Anderson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Huber? Yes. <clears throat> Murphy? Yes. Wadachny? Yes. Stevenson? Yes. Fulry? <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Discussion among the council regarding Ordinance 17 2024. I have a couple questions on here. Um, as far as the salary for the mayor and clerk, what percentage was that and why was it increased so much? I'm not sure what the percent was. It was increased to put the mayor and myself over the department heads. I mean, the mayors over the department heads and myself elected officials similar position that's the reason we are we were required by the fair labor standard act to get to at least 58 865 was it is that the number 58 656 58 656 so that's why it went from 58,656 to the number you see here tonight. So how many employees went from salary to hourly since all this came about far from last year? Did we take them down to not have to pay that amount? When I took office in March, every employee was salary, and that's not the case. Um, so how many are still left at salary and how many were taken away from salary? They would not qualify for this raise. I'd have to look at the wage ordinance here and pull them out by individual. Okay. I mean, there's approximately seven that uh, went to the 58656 FLSA final ruling amount. And then there was a bit of a ripple effect for a couple of others, of which the mayor and the treasurers won because they couldn't be, shouldn't be paid less than uh, the people they supervise who got bumped. 
so you know but those people couldn't have been switched to hourly so that wouldn't have happened the FSLA the, standard told us basically who was salary exempt those are the individuals who got the 58 656 I tend to forget those last three numbers but 58 something but the standard told us who qualified for salary exempt but there wasn't a way to put those people at an hourly and taking them off of salary they could have been hourly but we would have been paying the same salary out because they qualify for that uh, via the standard so that's why they were taken to that amount so none of the other employees that were taken off of the salary to hourly would have qualified no no they did not and you were talking about basing this on what your salary was is this including what the utilities compensates for this no this so is what this is what the city pays the mayor and the clerk treasurer if that's your question specifically this is what the city pays correct not what utilities pay but you're saying that you didn't want to be less than the employees that you manage but you're not with that income included correct yeah that's correct with the in with the compensation additional from compensation from utilities we will be making more than an example police chief fire chief yes Any more questions from the council? If not, can I get a motion to adopt? I will make a motion to adopt. Second. Roll call. Anderson? No. Fisher? Yes. Huber? Yes. Murphy? Yes. Sly Dochny? Yes. Stevenson? No. Ori. No. So I recorded four yeas and three nays, correct? <coughs> Ordinance 17 2024 is adopted. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is Ordinance 18 2024. Do I have a motion to consider? I make a motion to consider Ordinance 18 2024. Second. Roll call. Anderson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Huber? Yes. Murphy? Yes. Sadochny? Yes. Stevenson? Yes. Corey? Yes. <coughs> Discussion among the council regarding Ordinance 18 2024. Yes, I would like to know um, the reasoning for the uh, raise for animal control. Um, I know that we had spoke and um, it was my opinion that we needed to have more responsibility there to um, make a raise make sense. Um, and according to the city website, he should be having more responsibility than what he is but then I was told that his responsibility is only dogs so uh, I just would like some explanation on that so my first response would be we're voting on the position not the individual if there are some deficiencies in the individuals who do the work that's my job to take care of we're voting on the position not the individual and I believe the position whomever does it should get that cost of living increase 
as we have across the board for everybody else. Will the city website be updated to um, show that it's only for dogs and it not? It can be. Because according to, the, we're misleading if um, someone gets on the website and sees what his responsibilities actually are. Okay. That's a concern to me. Okay. Thank you for that. questions I was uh, wondering if the increase for the both uh, police department and the <coughs> fire department uh, with this increase uh, is that something that will carry over you know more than just one year or will we be requesting another increase like year after oh we don't to whom are you uh, asking that question? Just, well, I, I guess for uh, Chief and Chief Dan and Chief uh, Feller. I, I, I can't speak for Matt, but our, our department works off um, our wage committee, does all the negotiations. Myself and Chief Feller, we know the numbers and stuff, yeah. but we, we're not part of the negotiations. Okay. So. That's probably a question for the wage negotiation on where we ended up. Yeah. Or is probably where we're at there. Yeah. Would you agree, Matt? I, I would agree. And I mean, traditionally, every year, yeah. I mean, the cost of living increases. So it's traditional that every year our <coughs> respective unions are likely going to come to the table and ask for some type of increase. Some years are going to be more than others. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's, again, uh, the chiefs, we generally do not do the negotiating with the city. We, we leave that to our respective unions to work on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And it's always a balance, Pete, for where we're at with surrounding cities our size, you know, who's hired, what benefits and stuff they're offering. So it's the total package <coughs> that we look at, too, when they mm -hmm. come over and negotiate. So, and we try to stay, we try to stay lockstep with people around us sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't yeah okay and, and i'll just interject on the police you know this was uh really to bring up uh you know the salaries for especially the uh you know the the patrolmen's the the, the newer um officers uh to bring them up more in line with uh salaries and surrounding uh, cities and so uh, I think this is a catch-up you know um, from from past years and not an indication of what's going to be next year and the year after I would like to speak if it's uh, okay <clears throat> so, um, a few weeks ago, we passed the budget for the city. It was adopted. It was just slightly more than the previous year, I think 1.7 percent more than 2024. With that budget, we're able to provide a good wage increase for the Peru Police Department. We're able to provide a good wage increase for the Peru Fire Department, which they need. <coughs> We're able to increase everybody else's wages for cost of living within the city. We were able to purchase new <coughs> two new fire trucks for the fire department. We're able to purchase three new dump trucks for the sanitation street department, two new garbage trucks for sanitation of street, a million dollars in paving of streets for next year, 
and improvements in the hangar and the taxiway at the airport. We were able to do these things and also incorporate the wage increases that we're talking about tonight. <clears throat> and as you heard from Baker Tilly, first of the month, this is all sustainable. I think we've done a great job, Andrea particularly, in putting the budget together with the help from everybody, all the department heads, to be able to provide these wages and provide these things for the city and the employees of the city and still maintain a viable budget for the coming years. So I think we've done a good job at getting to where we're at today. I just want everybody to know and remember that all the things that we've been able to incorporate in the coming year, Baker Tilly has basically signed off on and said, you can do that and you're going to be financially responsible. So I I'm asking tonight for a favorable vote on this upcoming ordinance. Thanks. <coughs> I make a motion that we adopt Ordinance 18-2024. Second. <coughs> Roll call. Anderson? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Huber? Yes. Murphy? Yes. Dodgney? Yes. Stevenson? Yes. Ulrey? Yes. Thank you all. Is there any more communication from the council? I'll just make a comment. I, I think, you know, the, uh, the FLSA uh, final ruling from April, uh, that's really had a a major effect on on the budget and I think there's yet to be some discussion about how we look at that in the future uh, but I do uh, we are thankful that we're able to uh, as the mayor said make some of these adjustments for the fire and the police and these other purchases and and so on um, uh, and still be able to uh, to afford to do that uh, along with some of these unexpected changes uh, that the um, Fair Labor Standards Act uh, threw at us. So um, maybe the next time we have one of these final rulings, we'll have some time to really sit down and address it and uh, you know, take a, a serious look on how, how, how we can address it, you know, so. That just was a concern to me and some of the other council members was that one part of the budget. But uh, all in all, uh, I'm pleased that we can we can offer this this kind of budget for 2025. Thank you. Anybody else? If not, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion. motion. We adjourn. Thank you. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>